average speed from distance time graph well it's not that easy problem as it seems to be okay let's read the question explain how to calculate the average speed for the entire 10 seconds walk illustrated by the following distance versus time graph then calculate the average speed okay so when you are given a distance time graph then can you read from here how much distance has been traveled in 10 seconds average speed you know will be equals to distance traveled over time taken right so we can write here average speed is how much we say average speed equals total distance over time taken right So here we know the time taken is 10 seconds. Now, how much is the distance? That is a big question, right? I've seen it looks very simple problem, but many students get it wrong. Now let's understand how to calculate the distance from here. So at zero, what do you think is the distance? The starting distance is five, right? So that means a body is actually five units away at starting point, And in two seconds, it come to the point from where the distance being measured right so that means in two seconds how much distance did we cover we covered five units which is meters so the distance covered in first two seconds here is five meters right plus after five meters from two to this unit is five how much distance is covered so from zero we went to four so it is plus four right and then here no distance is covered because the body stayed at for itself so like st stationary right zero meters and then from here to 10 seconds distance covered is from four to this is at one right so four to one is one to three units so it is just three meters right i've seen people and students measuring the diagonals right and and adding up the diagonals no that is not the distance it looks like a diagonal but actual distance is five units right you started at five and came down to zero therefore the distance in first two seconds is uh, not this a square plus b square square root not the hypotenuse of this but it is just five minus zero right because distance is always taken positive if if it was displacement uh, then it was a different story altogether right if it was displacement can you tell me what was the net displacement well the net displacement would be starting point is 5 and the ending point is 1 so the net displacement would be minus 4 okay at present we are just finding the total distance covered correct so total distance covered here is this is 5 right plus from here to 4, 5 plus 4 is 9, and then 3 units from here, 9 plus 3 is 12. So therefore, the total distance covered is 12 meters, and the total time taken is 10 seconds. Therefore, the average speed is 12 by 10 meters per second, which could be written as 1.2 meters per second, right? So that's a very easy solution. But at times, I have seen students making mistake because they just calculate the hypotenuse. They spend a lot of time calculating hypotenuse and getting a wrong answer. Okay, So remember, distance is starting to final. Difference between the two, right? Here there is a change in direction, right? This is like towards the source and this is away from the source. But distance is always a positive quantity, right? So you'll just add them up, don't subtract them. Okay, so add these three distances and that's the stationary point. So at this time the body is stationary, time goes by. Well, for one second the body just stops there, okay? So the total distance is 12 meters as we calculate, divided by total time of 10 seconds and we get uh, average speed of 1.2 meters per second. Thank you.